YouTube, what up, what up? Welcome back to episode 8 of the Protect the Prince Nuzlocke. Now, on the last episode, you guys saw that we fought the uh, the Noble Cleaver, and it wasn't easy. We lost a few Pokemon, but we had a couple on the back. We didn't actually lose everything in the Obsidian Fieldlands that we had caught, which is really good. The Nuzlocke is still alive, but we didn't even lose our uh, our Knight, Sir Watt. Um, but as you guys, if you guys did see the end of it, you guys know we had a whole bunch of uh, requests to do eight of them. So we're kind of going to do that today. This is actually going to be an hour of power. Um, not sure if we're going to have an episode tomorrow because when I'm recording, I'm actually getting a new window put in. So I'm not sure <coughs> Excuse me, when they're going to be here, how long they're going to be here, what that's all going to take. So... Not sure if I'm gonna be able to record. I should be able to, but we're just we're definitely gonna get an hour of power in this episode. But looking at these requests, what we got, what we can do. Um. Okay. Under this, we just gotta give some pokeballs to a dude in the city. Awesome. That's stone. Some balloon racing, which we'll do the balloon racing. I didn't actually do this when I played through my first one, but we'll do these. We said we we're going to. We have to do all the quests. So awesome. Um, still haven't found any Cherims, but I feel like Cherims are going to be in a different area. They're not on the field lands. Um, the Peculiar Ponyta, this is actually the one that we're going to be doing first. Because it's awesome. Corbin, we just started streaming. Why do you have to be all crazy, do uh, cat? Uh, will o wisp that's obviously not one that we can do until we've been everywhere. Um, Eerie Apparitions in the Night. I believe this is in the Crimson Mylands, so we can't do this one yet. New Wares, Crimson Mylands, Crimson Mylands for the Hippopotas. This one we can do outside of Jubilee Life. Um, ground type is easy enough. Jeez, of course, we start streaming. Animals get all crazy on me. Uh, let's just give them a ground type, so pretty easy. Um, we could always change that. So if we find another shiny in the future, we can give them a shiny ground type. Awesome. This one's easy enough. We just have to show a Pokemon that likes us, so I'm sure... Sir Watt or Prince Peach. We're gonna we're gonna show Prince Peach, but obviously Sir Watt's been with this since the beginning. Bitter Leafs. Um, I don't know what we're gonna need, but we have to talk to somebody inside the city, anyways. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I obviously know where the peculiar Ponyta is. There's only one spot for the Ponytas in the Fieldlands. This is obviously like one of the most, oh, I want to say sought after, most accomplished requests in this game because it's a free shiny, right? I mean, who doesn't want to go and get a free shiny? Plus, I mean, it's a shiny Ponyta. Everybody loves shiny Ponyta. And I am just running around looking for the Wurmple before we go over there. Just in case you guys were wondering, like, hey, where's he going? He's not going the right way. I know where we're going. I'm just looking for the Wurmple. Oh, yes! The Alpha Wurmple! We have to catch this and give it to Bo. We have to. Um, do I have... Spoiled. Sweet. Come here. How many does it take? There we go. It takes a lot of spoiled apricons. That was almost like 10. Let's go! Awesome. We can finally do that one for Bo. That's awesome. See, that's what we needed to do. That's the whole reason I was wandering around here. Um, I'm 100% saving, too. 100%. <laughs> Let's go. You know how many hours I spent roaming these field lands looking for like just that or a shiny? Yo, he's gonna be so happy with the big one. I'm so happy that we're gonna give him the alpha. That's so legit. 
Now we just gotta find either an alpha geodude or a shiny geodude for the stone. And we have to find an alpha weasel for the um for the one dude, the bat gate. Alright, isn't the shiny ponyta over here? I thought it was right here. Maybe we have to like talk to the guy again first. Cause I mean on the map it says we have to go back into the city, so maybe we have to do that first. Which cool, whatever. 100% we're going back to give Bo his alpha anyways, so. So there's a plus, there's a lot of things we gotta do in the city, so. Might as well. Alpha. <laughs> yeah, we're actually close to getting to that third star, too. We can change our outfit. Which means we'll need to buy some stuff and um, then we can wear it and we'll change it out what do you got oh you still got the same stuff Okay, yeah, this guy, we need to talk to this guy, I guess, first. Here about my pony tower quest, right? Glad to have some help at last. Here's the problem. Pony like no one's ever been seen before has appeared on horseshoe plans. So different than the other pony tower, it's a little scary, to be honest. I went to the professor, you're all excited about researching, so we agreed to have the pony just surveyed and see what's what. Get to the horseshoe plans and catch the string pony for us, it really helps out. Alright. Perfect. First, though, we have to do this first request. Beauregard, Bo. Have I got a worm pull for you, bud? Now that's an alpha worm pull. Look at you catching an alpha. You must be even more talented than people say. I'm guiding me to raise an alpha, though. What? Could you bring me a regular worm pull? No. Dude, is he going to say the same thing when we give him a shiny? You're getting a shiny now, Beauregard. I don't, I don't care what you say. Pfft. This guy. Oh my, I am so... You know how many hours I spent looking for a, an alpha? Or a shiny, but an alpha... He's not even gonna take it. He's not gonna acknowledge it. Okay. He's he's upsetting. I'm upset. Beauregard, we're not friends. I I wonder how many people knew that. If you guys knew that in the comments, you didn't say nothing. We're not friends. <laughs> I am so upset. If he says the same thing about a shiny, I'm quitting this game. Oh, wait. <coughs> Let's see if I can get an old man. Oh, if it isn't the Survey Corps recruit who quelled the Lord of the Woods. You're a choice Aryan girl, are you? Don't waste your breath. I've got nothing to sell to him in this store anyway. Now go on, scurry. Passing me for goods when I'm already tearing my, tearing my hair out. Trying to get hearty grains. Sheesh. Alright, so we gotta give him some hardy grains, whatever. I, I'm so disappointed. Beauregard. What, what a way to... I was so happy that we found one. Right at the beginning. And he didn't even want it.
Can't even look at him. <laughs> he says the same thing about a shiny. Oh my gosh. Hey, what's up, Anise? Hello, dearie. Shana, since you got searching for a medicinal plant, did she? There'll be our three leaf little helper then. Shin doesn't know this, but it's actually a Pokemon that lives in the Crimson Mirelands. Or Shin will get a quiet shock if she finds out, so bring it back to me instead, would you? Best of luck in your search, dearie. Find the Pokemon with the three leaves in the Crimson Mirelands and give one and catch one to give to Anise. Okay. I don't remember which one that is. We'll get to the Crimson Mylands and figure it out. We got time. Can be nice. That's what I'm talking about. All right, this is the back area, right? You know what? You are my new friend right here, Dorian. Cause you want the alpha. You're legit. Other guy, no. Um, and actually, do we need to? We need to do that one, number five. We need this guy. Okay, yeah, we can still get out there. Line up lots of targets, pop a lot per ball, practice, practice, practice this, and the best of all. If you manage to break 10,000 points, you'll be in for a real treat, I can tell you that. What do you say, Sport? Up for a challenge? What are the rules? So throwing Pokeballs is active points. Purple is 100, yellow is 200. Break more than one, you get bonus. So we're looking for yellow, but. Gotta do as many as we can. Can I run? I think I can. Okay, I was about to say, are we got infinite? Broke ten thousand, so whatever. That's probably the way to do it, is go from the side, huh? Five heavy balls, really? Oh, gray balls and nugget balls, okay. And he hands out more. Okay, that's good to know. You can do this more than once. Um, five. Let's do that. I guess we can run there. This guy just wants five Pokeballs, so that's awesome. 
I'm still in such disbelief. Dorian, we're cool. Don't talk to Beauregard. Some grit dust. Okay. That's actually worth the five Pokeballs. do we got as far as requests? Hornpole, Weasels, Geodude, Balloon Race, Ponyta, New Wares, Pile in the Fields. I guess we could do this one. We'll give him a ground Pokemon real quick. I think we have an extra Geodude or something. Do we give him one from our cemetery? Do we give him Gimli? <laughs> Can we plant our own crops now, though? farm? Colza. Yes. Um, I don't remember what the vegetables are. We'll do the vegetable one first. It's not a big deal. Alright, I think that's all we can do here. So let's go to the front gate. Let's go catch that Ponyta. Um, we have the balloon race too, so we can do that. Let's catch ourselves a peculiar Ponyta. I guess we're gonna check for a shiny wormpole because Beauregard's is that an alpha look now there's just alpha wormpoles everywhere. Get out of here. Just rubbing it in my face. Jeez. That's an Eevee over here. I'm like halfway tempted to go to my like main profile and catch a shiny wormpole over there and transfer it <laughs> just to see if Beauregard would take it. I know I do have one. Right now it's being used for my ABC quest, but we do have one. Where's this ponytail? I 
I didn't hear the shiny sparkle. Does it still make the shiny sparkle sound? I feel like it should make the sparkle sound, right? Oh. Guess we had to trigger it. does make the sound. Cool. Well, I mean, Kai, we're not going to go to Yoda just yet. Because we're going to do... This guy. Ride a Pokemon, smash your balloons, ride, 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 burst them all. If you manage to burst 17 balloons, will that be an impressive start? Okay. The camera is so weird in this. Whoa. So, back when this game was still just like super popular, I had a buddy say that like they used to just do this non stop to get a bunch of items. So like this was the best way to get items was doing these balloon races. I never did the balloon races, so I don't know how well that is, but maybe you guys should, could let me know. Springy mushrooms. Rare candy and feather balls. All right. Cool. Is that all the requests that we need for here? And then we'll click on that. Yep, looks like once we do this, we have to go to um, the Mirelands. Do I remember yet? Um, you know what? I want to be. Oh, dang it, we went back. I was going to say, I want to be a three star member before we go to the Myrlands, so let's do a little bit more running around, but I guess. I guess not. <sighs> we will definitely be three star once we get to the Myrlands. You know what? I should have looked it up, but I have no idea where the f the new prince or princess is going to be in the Mylands. Guess we look around. I mean, I should have done the research first, for sure. But ugh, you. But not a big deal. Let's head to the Mirelands.
trying to think. Here we are, my girl, the Crimson Islands, and they're teaming with poison welding Pokemon and plenty of others besides. Seems like you're in for a tough mission. I'm sure you can handle it, though. Well, that's right. You're heading to Salacion Ruins, aren't you? Go off that way if you need a pointer to the entrance over there. Yeah, I know where those guys are. It's where we hunt unknowns. I can't even think of like what baby mons are in this area. You know, I wish you could tell where or when one of those space-time distortions was going to erupt. I wonder if checking your map would help. Calm both of you to carry out your survey work as best you can. Be mindful of your limitations, won't you? If a lot of Pokemon give you in trouble, I'll suggest you go to the training grounds and have Captain ZC teach your Pokemon some strong moves. I mean, but we need those seeds of mastery or whatever for that. So it doesn't help us out there, dude. Alright. Well, first off, let's move the Ponyta. You know what? Let's do. Let's make this like the prince room. <laughs> Mage. Elf. Oops. Dwarf. Let's see. And actually, I did that wrong. This is up here. You guys are elves. You're a dwarf. Steed. And you know what? I'll see the shinies with the prince room. Perfect. Okay. And let's change this up because you know what? The team's different now. We gotta we gotta get a new team. Ooh, what do you gotta say? That graceful Pokemon. Hey there, your go getter from the survey coach, right? A request for you if you got some time. Learn more about the Pokemon called Rosalia. Has these gorgeous red blue flowers. Okay. So we gotta complete a Rosalia page. Perfect. Alright, we got a Carnivine here. Carnivine's kind of cool. It floats. I don't know if it's a special or a physical attacker. I want to say it's probably physical. But I don't think I've ever used Carnivine. There's a Paris, of course. Pikachu's. If there's a Pikachu here, there might be Pichus here. What is this? The remains of someone's campfire? Yo, I don't ever remember seeing that. So we got some Krikatots, we got a Psyduck. Krikatoon. And you know what, I don't know, um, I don't know how many routes there are. So I don't know how many encounters we can get. Who are you? Oh, Granny. I'm Calibur of the Pearl Clan. Warden Calibur to you. 
Oh, no, would you look at that? You have a Celestica for you. You must be the one they say that fell out of the space time rift. I guess. <laughs> Why did they respond? Hmm? Something to hide? If I heard about you, that you quietly burned this frenzy. I'm sure many people were saved by your actions, but I wonder if there wasn't some other way to handle the situation. Would you, what you did is hardly different from blowing a Pokemon in submission, after all. Did you run about catching Pokemon up in those little balls you carry? I don't need help of your sort, or from the Diamond Clan for that matter. The only Yuruzu offered to help, but associate with the Diamond Clan? It just won't do. Be on your way. There's much I must do, and I prefer not to be distracted any further. Okay, you know what? We're definitely catching a Hippopotas. Oh, Bolo. Ah, Ninja, how about you show me the strength that you could quell a frenzied lord? Um, no. I don't have a team. Who knows when I'll get the chance next? Please ask you face me now. No! He's got two Pokemon. All I've got is Sir Y. No! What level? 22 as well. Attack never misses, that's always good. This also raises the user's action speed. If I use an item, does that... Jeez. Oh, does that take our turn? I am not happy with you, Bolo. I said no. Draining kiss. And you got a crit. Uh... Alright, well if he uses it again, it's not gonna kill unless he crits it. So we can actually get... Actually, he might strong style. If he gets a crit and a strong style, that would kill. He's gonna go back to health, full health, so we might as well heal ourselves up. See what he does, and I'm gonna use... Yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, we're gonna... We're gonna ox power up, alright? Oh, he's calm mining now. Of course. Of course. If we get to go twice, I'm gonna Aqua Jet. See if that if we can kill. We can kill. I don't know what he's gonna. Oh, my, that doesn't kill. You're kidding me. And of course, of course. This is ridiculous. He's gonna get back to full health too. Oh my gosh. How much does Draining Kiss have? Like how many PP does he have? Off okay, it's back to normal now. We can go twice now, too. 
So I'm just gonna double, double water pulse real quick. Or a single. It's got a gibble, okay. That's so messed that he gets to go first. So messed up. Uh, I mean, he's a ground type, right? Don't know what to do. We can't live another hit, so we have to kill, basically. Or we heal. But we just heal. Might as well play it safe. We weren't... I was not ready to fight him right now, so like, I'm not worried about potion spamming, <laughs> you know? Not at all. Yeah, he lived. Don't get a crit. Volo, that's why nobody likes you. Forcing me into a battle. <sighs> we almost just lost the knock, the lock right there, guys. That's Pachita's strength. Now let me just heal up your Pokemon. You better heal up my Pokemon, Volo. Well, nah, I think that settles it. Must ask your help in achieving the stolen wall fragment with your skill. It should be. Essential. Wait, stolen? That's exactly. Some bandits pillaged this place in ruins and made off the fragment of the wall engravings. Have you not heard of the notorious misfortunes? There are a trio of bandits that have even hit us, Ginkgo Guild merchants, more than a few times. Not the, not the kind of regulars like to have, let me tell you. Mistress Calibo is doing everything she can to retain the fragment, but at 99 years old, it's a bit hard for her to chase leads all over the place. She's 99. So we say, kind madam, why not help find the fragments for the warden? I'm 15 years old, Volo. Chill. Oh, now should be help. Happy little hand. Those sisters swiped my wares too, and I'm no Ginkgo Guild merchant if I take that lion down. <clears throat> Far be it for me to let them just get away with families, my precious rooms. Is... Why not find them instead of fighting me? Did you see the remains of a campfire near the Myelins camp? Perhaps worth checking out? I mean, we already did check that out, but I guess it makes sense. Volo. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get a Hippopotas. For sure, which will probably be our dwarf mon. Um, I definitely want a poison type. I feel like Carnivine might be cool to have as like a, uh, a mage, but it has to be a special attacker. Right? I don't know if Carnivine is a special attacker though. We gotta sneeze. Excuse me. Ooh, there's Onyx and Ghastly's. Ghastly could be a mage, for sure. Stunky? Oh, yeah, Stunky would be cool. I feel like we have to get a stunky, right? 
There's a Hippopotas. Absolutely love his cry too. Um, you know what? Let me uh let me just do this real quick. We are just gonna pull up with the Hobbit, pull up the Hobbit. Let's see here. Yo, Bilbo, like a a Hobbit class would have been really cool to use too. Um. All right, let's call him Thorin. Wait, Thorin, Oaken Shield. I feel like that we gotta wait to use Oaken Shield, right? So, I was actually thinking, first thing that came to my head was Gloin. Alright, I don't have the image, so we're going to have to add that later. Look at Gloin. Um... Like I said, I do want a Stunky as well. I don't know if Stunkies are physical or special. Oh. Way too far. I just want to throw it up there. Um, I don't want to fight two. So... Get away from it for a second. A male stunky. Take a look at Stunky. Um, check summary. Um, physical attacker. Okay. Your physical attacker too. Just had to du double check that it was a physical attacker. <laughs> Plus defense too. So he's definitely 100%. He's a dwarf. I feel like Stumpy's gonna have to be a dwarf too. Which is fine. Um we have an Onyx right here. You can ride Onyx in um in Let's Go. So for now let's go ahead and catch this. For our first ride, <laughs> it's a female too. One of my friends would love that it's a female Onyx. Oh. You just roll out. Um, how about you don't? I swear, if you kill Sir Watt, okay. Well, we're changing things up now. <laughs>
So I had this idea. Hear me out. So obviously the starter Pokemon is supposed to be our knight for each one, right? There is five starters in this game. I'll look at all those. Um, I believe in this area is where we get Cyndaquil. Yeah. So, instead of the run being over, since Sir Watt is gone. We're gonna cut ourselves a Cyndaquil as the new knight. Because I don't want this to be over right away. Um, and you're or dwarfs. I think you're like the third one, right? Because yeah, it'd be mage, elf, dwarf, steed. Um, yeah. Onyx, of course, change name. It's a female Onyx. Female riding snake. Um, we're gonna call you Jennifer. Okay, oh, look, there's a Badoo. Actually, Badoo's a baby mon. Badoo, you're a baby mon. Here's our prince. And it's still a prince. Okay, well. There's another one right there. Don't run away. Look, you can't run away. Stun sport. For fine. Fine. That's totally fine. Because guess what? Doesn't matter. We're catching you. Alright. We got our Prince. Um... It is a prince, yeah. That's all I needed to know. You are going to be prince. Um, well, so I usually name my Bidoos like Romeo or Juliet because of the flowers. This will be Prince Romeo. Let's go. Perfect. Oh, and there's some grains too. I feel like we should catch, um, actually let's use Jennifer. I feel like we should catch ourselves a Carnivine just to see. Burn me. No, this is a Nuzlocke. We've already caught a Burmy. We're gonna count that as species. <laughs> or dupes. I didn't even think about it running up to it and throwing the Onyx at it. 
I just oh Tingrath. I was just oh yeah, there's a shaking tree. Let's go and and hit it. Um, our toxic croak special attackers. Krogum can toxic croak because they're right there. I was just saying we should catch ourselves a carnivine. Oh, there's a barboach. I don't know if Barboach is a special attacker. We should catch ourselves a Carnivine to see if it is a special attacker to see if it can be our mage. Because, like, that's a decent... Um... A decent mon to kind of fit the mage role. If it is a special attacker. If it isn't, it could be our elf. But I feel like a mage would be a pretty good idea for it. Only problem is, we are weak to grass right now, so I don't want to catch that. And we'll wait on the crow gunks until I catch a uh, until I catch a carnivine, just to make sure that we are not using an elf. Those are the do. We don't need no dukes. I mean, we could catch ourselves a Rosalia. I mean, I guess technically we have the do. We gotta catch Rosalia's for the, that one mission, so. We're just doing this for that. Definitely not being added onto the team. But, might not be a bad idea to get Rosalia. Yamas are a cool idea. I don't know what they would classify under. Maybe a mage? There's Geodudes. Oh wait. No, no, that's not what I want to do. We can find turt twigs down here, right? I'm almost positive we can find turt twigs down there, so that's where our starter is. Let me um let me mark this too. So we know where we're going. There is the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, the alpha, I can't, what can't think of his name, Turtwix Final Evolution Torterra, there it is, hello there, so you're the survey coach child to quote the Lord of the Woods, are you, think you can help with setting up our new base camp, we're making one by the bogs, sure. Our Oda could sure use someone as capable as you. He's a fresh construction corp recruit, but still in the ropes. Did y'all set up the camp? But not yet. We need to find our new knight. Um, I want to see what this shaking rock is, just to see if it's a shiny beauty. Not our encounter. Plus we have Geodude, we have Gimli, so it'd be species anyways, or dupes. So I guess I didn't really need to explain that, but that was my idea. Oh, 
Well, you know what? There's Teddy Ursas and Ursa Rings and Ursa Lunas, which could be a ride mon too. So that's our second steed, would be the Teddies. Yeah. These guys could be our second steed mon if we need a backup from from Jennifer. The barrels actually technically are ride mons too. In a BDSP they do everything. They're, they're your HM slave. That was an Alpha Teddy for a second. I was like, what? Right off the bat? Alpha? Um. Can we not get there yet? Is there a bridge I can cross this river at somewhere? What else I think is in this? Um, the Marlins? Is that a bridge? It's my favorite mon in this game. The Goomies. Goomy, Slagoo, and Guja. The two best typings. Dragon and Steel. Yo, is there not a bridge to cross right here? Do we get... We can't fly yet. And this isn't the fly area, right? Can we just go all the way around the lake? Is that what we have to do? <laughs> Where are we at? We're at almost an hour right now. So, let's see here. Well, what I have been thinking, and this this was uh, kind of my original thought in the first place, was for each section of the this game, so you have the Obsidian Fieldlands, Crimson Mirelands, Cobalt Coastland, all of those places, right? We have a brand new team per area. And, I, ooh, a space time. My original thought was, you know, all every Pokemon gets replaced. How am I supposed to get to that if I can't even cross the river, though? So we replace it, including the knight, including the starter. But, like, I thought it'd be kind of cool, you know, like, you have one knight who travels across the entire land and saving just, like, princes and princesses, right? That was his... That's his goal. It's like kind of like if you look at a movie, just follows the knight, right? He's just an, a noble knight that saves prince and princesses. Um, but in this game, like I said, there is five different starters, so there's a possibility of getting a new knight. So my original thought was, you know, like let's get a new, brand new team, 
the whole way through. So it'd be like five little TV episodes instead of a movie, right? So I think that's what we're, well that's what we're gonna do now, right? <laughs> but um, the knight that you have has to survive past the noble mon. So like that's that's the main goal, right? Has to survive because he's like the main knight story. Obviously the prince has to survive too, but where right, we are on the other side. Oh, there's Tangela's. We're on the other side. We can get this space-time distortion. This could be a cool idea for some team members, though. So we're definitely gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna keep the episode going until this is finished. That's the Gwen. Um. Actually, can't you see? Like when it's supposed to start? Oh, is there like a little circle around it? Um, I don't think we can get back up. So yeah, let's let's wait for this space time distortion to start. See what we can and can't catch, because this could be really cool for some some team members. Alpha Carnivine. Grab that. Twenty-eight. Yeah, we're we're just running. So yeah, so what we're going to do is after the space time, we're going to run down to find ourselves that turret wig, right? That'll be our night for this area. Um, and then we'll set up the rest of the team. Obviously we have Gloin, Jennifer, and then we got our Prince Romeo. But we'll look at getting a Carnivine. Let's see what else is in this area. Like, what can we catch? And what, what kind of items can we get to? This is just good money. Yo, Heracross? We could have got Heracross in the Obsidian Fieldlands, but... But the only way to get Heracross was the Alpha. Okay, we got rid of the Apricorns. We'll craft those, because why not? We need space in our satchel. That's what I'm getting at. What is this? Experience candy? Alright, we'll just give that to Cloyne. Might drop some of these things. Hatch of berries. This is a revive. The chokes are just revives. Get out of here. Those are for ox powers. Restore PP. Okay, that's kind of good, I guess. That needs to be sold. Um, but yeah. Heracross. Definitely could be worth it. We have an Eevee. And a Flareon. We don't. I don't think we need another dwarf. Heracross. It's bipedal, so I guess it could be um, an elf. But I'm pretty sure it's a physical attacker. So oh, Porygon. Um, 
Um, okay, well, Porygon is the only one that's doing anything. And we're facing three Pokemon now. They really can't do much though. Luxio, Luxio, and Flareon. We're gonna catch the Porygon. At least try to, because that could be our mage. 100%. A Porygon as a mage? It's awesome. Perfect. Flareon uses Mimic. Um, Thundershock. Cool, get out of here. Bite. That's different. Now the thing is, do we want to catch ourselves a Flareon? I mean... The Leafeon was a dwarf, because it was defense. Flareon, I feel like is a special attacker, so that could be like a backup mage. Could be a backup dwarf too, I guess. I mean, that would have three dwarves, but... Fire type might not be half bad. And actually, Eevee is technically a starter. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna catch this Flareon. Eevee is technically a starter and let's go. So Flareon could be our knight. Really, Gloin? Really? It's level 26, too. Flareon, stay in the ball. Okay. Cool. We're um We're we're gonna get out of here. Run from these. Perfect. Watch out now. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna still go down to see if we can't get to the turtwig. If we catch the church wig, then awesome. But I'm gonna. What was that? Oh, it's a floatzel. Looks really weird for a second. What I'm gonna do is once we catch the church wig, if we catch the church wig, is I'm gonna let you guys decide in the comments down below if we should use the Flareon as our knight or the church. Oh, excuse me. Or the church wig. I think we got all the items in here. So now I'm just kind of running around hoping we see a shiny. Snorlax. Yo. There's an item. So there's Umbreon's in here too? Oh, oh, watch out now. I was gonna just try to catch the Umbreon just to catch the Umbreon. <laughs> An Umbreon, if we caught that, could have been, you know, the possibility of a uh, starter as well. It's another evolution. <laughs> I 
Yo, speaking of evolutions, what are you guys' thoughts on us getting a new evolution for Scarlet and Violet? Think it's a possibility? If you do think it's a possibility, what do you think we're gonna see? If not, why? Me personally, I don't think we're getting another evolution. Um, especially because oh, ouch. especially because of the terrestrializing. Ooh, there's Pachirisus. Yeah, with the with the terrestrializing. 100% because we can have an EV with any typing now. I don't think we're ever gonna get another EV Lucian. But that's just me. Pokemon is weird. They do different things all the time. So there's a possibility that we're gonna get a new EV Lucian. But let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Oh. Really? Yo, it's kind of good that we're like going all the way down here because we're kind of seeing like the different Pokemon Okay, I don't want to be in the water because I don't want to die Thank you, jeez Actually, let's let's double check this real quick. Special attacker, perfect. So this is definitely our wizard or mage. Click down here. I didn't know there would be more. Okay, but this is where we're gonna end it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, oh, sorry. Remember, comment down below what you think our 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 knight should be. Should it be the Flareon or should it be the Turtwig? We're choosing a starter, obviously. Um, if you guys are upset that we lost Sir Watts and we're going on with it. Like I said at the very beginning of this series, the rules are flexible. This is the first time I've ever gotten to the Crimson Myrlands in this challenge. Um, but I did have the thoughts of what we were doing and what we're going to do. So whatever we're going to choose for our new knight has to make it past the what is it, the Ursaluna, I think is the next noble Pokemon. So if our knight dies before the Ursaluna, then that will be the end of the run. But we gotta, we gotta know what our knight is. So is it going to be the Turtwig or is it gonna be the Flareon? They're both starters, technically. Turtwig may be more of a starter because it's legit, like, a, I guess a main series game. Some people argue that Let's Go is a main series because it's Gen 1, but it's not. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below. Then let me also let me know about the EV Lucian. What do you think? What do you think the next one is going to be? But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, all of that, and I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Like I said earlier, we'll see about the whole window thing and everything what I can record. But thank you guys. Peace out.